I feel like every time I make a YouTube video, it's just me showing up uninvited to a party. Hello! What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mike MGTV, and this is another segment of Bar Talk, an uncensored conversation just like you would have with somebody at a bar. Thank you to everybody who let me vent for a little bit here on this channel. 95% of you are the sweetest, most amazing people in the entire world, but the 5% of you that don't think that I have the right to talk about myself here on this channel and try to make me feel bad about it, you're on my channel. <laughs> if you want us to sit here and talk about you, that's fine. You just gotta do something interesting first. So my response to those people who don't want me to talk about myself here on this channel is me making a video doing nothing but talking about myself. Cause we make the rules here, let's go. <laughs> I feel like at this point, you guys know my deepest, darkest fears. You guys know the most traumatizing things that have happened to me in my past. You guys know like everything super personal about me but you don't know like the little nitty gritty stuff. I never really get into that kind of stuff here on this channel because I never thought that anybody would find it interesting. But you know what? I really like this like low energy kind of video where we could just chill and talk for like a few minutes. Is that okay? Is that okay? Who am I asking permission? No one's here. <laughs> so today guys, we're gonna go old school YouTube. We're gonna do a tag video. Remember back in the day when it was like that easy to be a YouTuber? <laughs> All the videos were like max five minutes and it was like the most minimal effort and everyone got along. Can you imagine? But without further ado, let's get into these questions. And before I start, let me remind you now, if you're not subscribed, please go down and click the thing that does that. Give this video a like and leave me a comment. It'll make me bust. Were you named after anybody? Yes. I was actually named after St. Michael. <laughs> if you think about it, I'm kind of like the polar opposite of St. Michael. Isn't that like the devil? I mean, in a biblical sense, I'm strong and protective like St. Michael, but I'm nowhere near a saint. I definitely fuck up a lot. I do a lot of bad things. I make a lot of mistakes, but I always have good intentions. Really starting off strong here. I'm the devil. What? When was the last time you cried? Oh my God. During the recording of me having a full mental breakdown that I posted two videos prior. Do you like your handwriting? See, this is why tags suck. Cause you know, back in the day, those DIY girls would take that question and go, oh my God, I love my handwriting. Let me teach you a tutorial on how to write in glitter script. What is your favorite lunch meat? Dick. I like having someone sit on my face for lunch. Is that an appropriate answer? Can I say that? Do you have kids? No, but I want them. I've always said I want a kid around the age of 35, but the thing is, if I'm still single by then, which is it, there's a high probability of that being the case, then I'm probably just gonna either adopt or see if somebody will have my kid for me. I can be a single dad, okay? I think I could, I can't, I, I can't even keep a plant alive. Right now, the only child I actually have is my dog, Diesel. And I don't even fully take care of him myself right now, so. If you were another person, would you be friends with you? You know, probably not. <laughs> I think I would get along with myself, but I wouldn't want to see me every single day. Like, I wouldn't want to be best friends. I would only want to see me maybe like at the bar. You know, you only run into each other when you go out. Cause this is a lot to handle, even for myself. <laughs> That's why it gets mentally exhausting. Do you use sarcasm a lot? Yeah, as a coping mechanism. <laughs> Do you still have your tonsils? Not after the deep throat incident of 2016. Would you bungee jump? Absolutely the fuck not. I hate heights. One of my few fears is I hate heights. I hate heights, I hate sharks, and I hate snapping turtles. I don't trust them. What is your favorite cereal? I don't wanna say. I don't wanna say because it's gay. Oh my God. Fruity Pebbles. I lo I'm fucking fruity for Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> fruity Pebbles or Captain Crunch? The only reason Captain Crunch isn't first is because they fuck the shit out of your mouth, which usually I, it's not something I normally hate, but when it comes to cereal, it's not something I love. Do you untie your shoes when you take them off? I wanna know who wrote this. I wanna meet the person who thought, you know what's a really intriguing question? Let me ask somebody if they untie their shoes before they take them off. No. Do you think you were strong? Physically, yes. Mentally, no. What's your favorite ice cream? Ooh, a uh, chunky monkey. It's that Ben and Jerry's flavor. It's like banana ice cream with chocolate chunks and ch chunky monkey, leave me alone. <laughs> what is the first thing you notice about people? Okay, this is something I can't really explain, but it's the vibe of their face. It's not trying to figure out whether or not they're attractive. It's like sometimes there's just like, I don't like someone's face. And I don't know why. I don't know if that's just me being really combative. I don't know if it's like a thing growing up in New Jersey. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I will meet people and just not like their fucking face. And they could be gorgeous and they could be a really nice person, but sometimes I just don't like your fucking face and that's it. Red or pink? Pink, because I love to eat things that are pink. Like Starburst, you nasty little fucks and pussy. What is your least favorite thing about yourself? I fucking hate my voice. I hate it. I hate it so much. I wish I, I wish I sounded like this. 
Oh my God, you wanna know something really embarrassing? When I first started YouTube, these videos don't even exist anymore, but I used to lower the pitch on the YouTube videos to make it sound like I had a deeper voice. Who was I fooling? Everybody knew what I sounded like. The only people watching my videos were people in high school. They all knew me in real life. They know that that's a lie. Oh God. Oh God, I wanna go back and delete myself. Who do you miss the most? Uh, I had like one boyfriend technically in my entire life. And if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. And they kind of just like left me high and dry and uh, disappeared in a really uh, crippling, terrible situation. And I wouldn't necessarily that I miss them fondly. I just like miss them because I just, I just lock me in a room with that motherfucker for like 20 minutes. What changed your life the most? Um, leaving my hometown. Going somewhere on your own where you don't know anybody and no one knows you is one of the most terrifying but also liberating things you can do because you get to completely reinvent yourself. And when you get to reinvent yourself, you get to become who you want to be, which is inevitably who you really are. What color shoes are you wearing? I'm not wearing shoes. These are my socks. These are my dirty fucking socks. I just washed these socks. I don't know what to, everybody comments about my dirty fucking socks. I don't know what to tell you. I wear socks, this is how they come out of the wash. What was the last thing you ate? Cock, I had chicken for lunch. What are you listening to right now? If you were a crayon, what color would you be? The white one. Because it's actually really helpful, but nobody uses it. And I don't know why I relate to that so much. Is that a problem? Favorite smells. Have you ever smelled your own fart and thought, ooh. <laughs> Who was the last person you talked to on the phone? Oh, I talked to Mac. Mountain hideaway or beach house? Well, let's think about that. My recent um, excursion to a mountain hideaway got me trapped in a blizzard and I had to get towed out of being stuck in the snow for four hours with nothing but a bottle of vodka and a dream. And I'm still trying to get over the PTSD of a certain beach house in Mykonos, so you know what? Neither. Favorite sport to watch? Ah, uh, football. Here's the thing, I love to play football, I love to watch football. I couldn't name three professional football players. Hair color. I have brown hair, right? Like, we see brown, right? Because I've had people tell me it's dirty blonde, and that's not when I had the blonde highlights. Like, I've had articles written about me that said, oh yeah, Mike, six foot three, dirty blonde hair. Who? What's your eye color? I have hazel eyes, uh, but one of them is half full green. Affected individuals have reddish brown skin, ginger or red hair, and hazel or brown irises. Inf infected with what? <laughs> Favorite food, pasta. Like any pasta. Like any kind of fucking pasta. Just like shove that shit in my mouth. Scary movies or happy endings? I love a good scary movie. Scream is my all time favorite. Scream one, then scream four, then scream two, then scream three. Last movie you watched. I watched um, a movie called Llamageddon. I don't even know how to describe it, but if you have time, Google Llamageddon. <laughs> one of my favorite things to do is get super stoned and watch really, really bad movies. What color shirt are you wearing? Black because it's slimming. Summer or winter? Summer. <laughs> I hate the cold. That's literally why I moved to LA. Hugs or kisses? You know what? Kisses are great, but nothing beats a really good hug. Favorite dessert? Like a really good cookie. Like one that's big and crunchy on the outside, but still really gooey in the middle. I get like sexually turned on by food. Strength training or cardio? I do not like cardio. I don't have time for that negativity in my life. I make up for it by picking things up and putting them down. Computer or television? Computer. All I do is literally watch YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu. I don't even have cable. What book are you reading right now? Oh, I'm actually reading a new Ellen Hopkins book I got. Hold on, I'll get it. So Ellen Hopkins is my favorite author and these are my all time favorite books. There is Tricks and Traffic. I read Tricks years ago and related to it a lot, which is weird to say. And then Traffic is the sequel and I am currently only a few chapters in. What's on your mouse pad? Okay, N nothing. I don't have a mouse pad. <laughs> I want to meet the person who thought that was an interesting question. Do you have any tattoos? Several. I have the pause play button on my chest. I have this half sleeve that is still not even done. And then I have uh, the loyalty betrayal ambergram on the side of my back. Favorite sound? I love the sound of rain. I will literally play uh, rain noises at night to help me sleep. Rolling Stones or Beatles? Rolling Stones. What is the farthest you've been from home? 
Greece. Do you have a special talent? Yeah, I'm really good at putting up at bullshit. Where were you born? New Jersey. I'm the only one in my family to be born in New Jersey, and that explains a lot. Where are you living now? I'm currently living in West Hollywood, California. What color is your house? I live in an apartment, um, tan. Thank you so much to everybody who's watching this all the way through. <laughs> I really appreciate y'all. What color is your car? White. And finally, do you have any pets? Yes, I've had two pugs in the past and I miss them dearly, and now I currently have my son, Diesel, who is living at home with my parents. And I'm looking forward to a lot of quality time with him when I go home for the holidays. So in the comments below, let me know anything you would like to see me do with Diesel. And wow, now I remember why I don't do those types of videos. <laughs> so God, I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for watching. I really just wanted to chill and bullshit a little bit and let you guys know a little bit more about me so we could get to know each other better. And if I didn't answer a question that you're curious about, ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it in the future. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for future ones. I put them out weekly. And if that's it, my name is Mike MGTV, and y'all fucking welcome. I hope you have a good weekend and a happy holiday. I'll see you next week. Bye. And to anybody that stayed to the very end, don't worry. The plant, she lives. Follow my kids, stay there. Yeah. Head so good, it's like daycare. Uh. Damn right, heights, gray there. I got a weed pie, got a head full of gray hair. Never cheat when the game don't play fair. Bear with me, take those pants up and lay there. She yeah. rides my dick like the state fair. I was too fucked up to take off my wayfarers.